what is the treatment for adenoid enlargement in children is there any newer treatment options to treat adenoid problems in children without surgery now we are going to discuss about the common adenoid problems in children what is adenoid hypertrophy how can you identify adenoid hypertrophy at home what are the common signs and symptoms and how a doctor confirm the diagnosis and what are the newer treatment modalities welcome to pediatric doubts and i am dr sandeep keraj adenoids are lymphoid organs they are situated in the posterior part of the nasal cavity so normally we cannot see adenoids so when it is enlarged children will have a lot of problems and i'll discuss it one by one adenoids are a part of our immune system so when your baby grows adenoid size also increases and once they reach teenage the growth of the adenoids stops and after that its size gradually becomes smaller and smaller when you get a minor throat infection or an allergy problem sometimes you may notice a smaller lymph node becoming larger and you can feel it at your neck so similarly whenever you get an infection or an allergy your adenoid size also increases the problem with adenoid enlargement is it is situated very close to the airway so in children when the size of the adenoid enlarges which is already a bigger size when it enlarges it blocks the airway so when the airway is blocked children cannot breathe normally through their nose so they will start breathing through their mouth so that is called as mouth breathing so that is the most prominent symptom of adenoid enlargement initially you will notice this mostly during sleep and along with that mouth breathing you can hear snoring also so noisy breathing and mouth breathing are the most prominent features of adenoid enlargement so this adenoid enlargement can be a part of allergy or an infection which can be a bacterial or a viral infection so what happens is the baby may be having fever he may be having nasal discharge he may be having throat pain and along with that there will be mouth breathing and Uh, snoring so these repeated nose block airway block and breathing problem all these result in remodeling of their facial bones and also dental malocclusion so this result in typical adenoid facies repeated episodes of adenoid enlargement can result in repeated sinusitis in children the eustachian tube which is a tube which connects the ear cavity with the nasal cavity can get blocked to the due to the enlarged adenoids and that can result in repeated ear infection ear ache and hearing problems in children so how can you confirm whether your baby is having adenoid enlargement and is is it a significant problem so you have to consult a pediatrician or a ent surgeon and usually they do an x ray of the adenoids or an ent surgeon can do a nasal endoscopy and they can tell whether the adenoid size is increased and is there any ongoing infection and how much is the enlargement and sometimes they may do some blood test to confirm whether it is a bacterial infection or a viral infection and sometimes if needed they may do an allergy test also so what are the treatment options for adenoid enlargement in children previously the major treatment option was surgery so they will surgically remove the adenoids and so that the obstruction can be relieved but the current treatment strategy for adenoid enlargement is mainly using nasal spray and some tablets to control the size of the adenoids and prevent complications so if it works out we won't go for surgery immediately so what are the non surgical treatment options for adenoid enlargement so the main treatment is using nasal spray steroid nasal sprays are commonly used and most commonly used is mometasone nasal spray so that can control the size of the adenoids and that can reduce the size of the adenoids and sometimes the baby may be having associated allergy and that allergic rhinitis also can be controlled so steroid nasal sprays are very effective in treating adenoid enlargement other treatment options are montelukas tablets or levocetrazine tablets so usually we use montelukas tablets they are mast cell stabilizers they can control allergy and they can control the size of the enlarging adenoid so the main thing is the treatment duration so usually the treatment duration will be from months to years so you won't get an immediate remedy with the 
a nasal spray or the tablet. You can feel the response after a few weeks of usage but the size of the adenoid will decrease with a long duration treatment. Along with this, if there is a bacterial infection, the doctor may prescribe an antibiotic, a short course antibiotic also to control the infection. So can we completely cure adenoid enlargement with nasal spray? So when will we go for surgery? If the adenoid enlargement results in repeated ear infection, if it causes hearing problems and if your baby develops sleep apnea or some other major complications, we will go for surgery. So the main treatment for adenoid enlargement without surgery is mainly nasal spray and Montelukas tablets and wait and watch approach. Thanks for watching Pediatric Doubts. Please like and subscribe. Music